Welcome in to this day number 13. We are here getting ready to trade, and it is uh, going to be a great day, I hope. it. Uh, the ch charts looked a lot crazy earlier, and so I'm just getting back in my office this afternoon. I looked early in the morning, and sometimes early in the morning to me seems a little volatile. Uh, so I just held off. We're at $21 today. We're at $15.32. We're on day number 13, and we're getting ready to make this happen and make it happen uh, as amazingly as possible. I have some great news. For a limited time, you can join the Music City Trader Tribe absolutely free. All you have to do is open your pocket option account using my affiliate link and make your first deposit. You don't have to pay me anything. And when you use my affiliate link, you'll also get a 50% bonus on your first deposit. That's right, Pocket Option will actually give you 50% more than you deposit. And I'll send you two trading strategy ebooks and my latest trading sheets, the ones you see me using every day on my YouTube channel. So don't wait any longer. The tribe membership and the resources I'm sending you today can change everything. You can become a successful binary options trader. And again, when you use my affiliate link, you don't have to pay anything for the ebooks, the trading sheets, and the lifetime access to the Music City Trader Tribe. For detailed instructions and to get my affiliate link, go to musiccitytrader.com and click on Join the Tribe. All right, and that's it right there. We're going to be in looking at positions and taking our time. All right, I'll get in on this because in the five minute, this is a really strong level it i took a two minute trade thinking that this will go up from here now in the five minute it does look like it could finally break down but i don't know about that i was just chasing my dog around the yard man i'm feeling kind of winded i thought i'll chase my dog around and then i'll i'll have like i'll be happier i'll be ready to trade i'll feel i'll feel better about trading if i chase my dog around a little bit i don't know if that works or not maybe it does um, this looks like it is moving kind of slow in the five minute. Let's see in the 10 minute. It looks like it went up there, hit this bottom. Yeah, I think in overall, this is probably going to go back up. Will it go back up in time? I don't know because we have one minute and it's just sort of stuck here. So are the charts going to be stuck today? Let's look at 30 seconds. I think it could go either way. There, it's got some power up, but it's also got pushed down. It looks like when you look at it in 30 seconds, it looks like my position's kind of high because it went down here. I could have waited for it to get down to this position here. And uh, you just never know. I'm going to double this up if it flops down there. 30 seconds. Let's look at it in 10 seconds. Huh. Doesn't look like I'm going to have to. It looks like it is going to push up from the bottom. But it's, you know, still, my position is pretty high. 18 seconds, I think it will push up. In the 10 seconds, it looks pretty promising. Really high position. Had I waited for that bottom line of the 30 seconds, it could have won. Let's go back to 10. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, it's just like, it's just a loss. It's just a loss. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take it down here. Let's say it's going down. In the 10 second, I'm looking at this in 10 seconds. I do think it's going to break down here because it's trying to break. This is a strong line right here. I'll write that down. 21. Now, if this consolidates, I'll lose. But in the 10 second, it looked like a pretty good push right down through that hard line. This is a hard line right here. It's um, and it's it's dangerous to trade on these hard lines, but not unusual for me to do that. Not unusual at all. But in you know, I could get burned here because it could go up and down, like it's doing right now. So let's just let it play out in 30 seconds here. It's down there. It's got 14 seconds. It's it's really on the bottom. Look at that. Okay, so this one looks like it will be a win. It holds down five more seconds. It just took off. Is it going to touch here and flip around? Or is it going to go through? Because that looks like it's going to actually go through. Let me look at the one minute, see where we're at here. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a, Finally, it's got a one minute um, push down. 
let's take another one here and we'll see trying to trying to get here on this one minute break now the one minute might have broke here but it, either either way it pushed out of here it stayed in this little uh, area right here for quite a while and then it pushed so i'm going for the push hopefully it's not pull back i've started trading just today um just now so there could be pullbacks there could be bounces bounces and pullbacks are not safe for me because i look for pushes and this looks like it's got a little bounce pullback here in 10 seconds could go either way look at this um line here i probably get off this chart if this loses because it's kind of at this position where it could go either way now it's going back up yeah so this is gonna be a loss unless it just flies down there in eight seconds but see it's stepping up it's stepping up it broke through now it's stepping up so i don't know if this is actually going to return or if it's just going to keep going see it might it might hit off this line here and then then go back down or it might break up so let's watch this in 10 seconds how's it going to go it's going to break up or is it going to go back down that surely looked like it's going to go back down it's looking 30 seconds i do think this is going up let's go ahead and go up with it here you got to take you got to take your chances and that's what I'm doing right now. What I think this is going to do is head for the white line. It kind of bounced off that top level. This is my orange uh, line here. I uh, good thing I took a 41 second trade cuz I think it's going to go like off this bottom back up here. It's going to go back up through. And then we'll see where we're at if this wins and some profit or not. Let's look at this 10 seconds. Yeah, it's going to break above the white line, I hope, and push even further. I hope it doesn't like just fall back down. It hit that bottom, and now it's just heading up. It's got 20 seconds. Does it have some uh, momentum? I feel like I'm getting used to this um, chart just a little bit. So I feel like, you know, I could win some more on here. But, you know, at this point, it's at this really strong line here. It's going to be a really strong line. It's going to hit that really strong line. It's going to continue up. So that's a win. So we have a loss, win, a loss, win. So uh, we're up, we're down four or five bucks here just because of the way the math works. Is this a, a push down or is this a turnaround? And when I want to look at this in 10, I just don't know. I think it, it could be going up from here. It's, it's probably going up. Or is it like a full out down turn? Is it going to really finally go back down? I'm not going to guess on this because it doesn't look... It's sort of at a bottom. I'd say I'll leave it here for now. And we'll see what happens, and we'll come back to this one because it could it could go down from here. It could all, go all the way back down, and that's kind of what I think it might do. So if you look at this, um, maybe it hits this line and then heads down that way. Um, that's probably you know what it could do, and it could. But how far could it go? I don't know. Um, it could it could go down that far or it could not go down that it could just kind of hang around i don't know not really sure i guess if it breaks this line here let's see where this one what, what's a strong line i don't know it might want to go down to there that was a pretty strong line and it's probably probably vying for that but it's it bounced off that it, it tried again and is it going to go down to this line um if it turns around, it does, but it's had so much pressure up here, like it might want to return there, and it does look like it could turn around. It's on a white line on the 10 minute, so really it could just go straight back up, and it could stay in this upper level, which is probably what it will do. It could, just, it could return up to this upper level, like it could just keep going here, so I'm like not sure, this or this, this, and, and you know, it could go that way or it could go the other way. I guess that's not bad in terms of my analysis brain to go, it's either going that way or that way. But when does it? When do we know? When do we know? It bounced off this line down here. And uh, when does when do we know? When do we know like, yes, it's going? I don't, I don't really know that. Because it bounced off that line and then we've got it either going this way up to here or that way down to there. I guess this black line is really the key because if it, if it if it heads down from there, if it heads if it heads down from here, then we know we've got black line 
uh, rejection that's heading down. That is if it goes below this little line here. It does look like it could do that. Let's look at it in one minute here. Yeah, I mean, it could just keep going. Could be total pullback. Kind of went back up and bounced down. This is a this is a contentious area though, right here, right there. You know, is it going to go back down there and break? If it does, then we'll know it's going to head up. If it starts heading back up from here, then maybe we'll know it's going to go back up because it really, really could go right back up to this level. It could spread back down and go down there. Right now, it's kind of just waiting around. It's kind of not sure. And so I'm going to have to wait for it to get out of this area. Either break below here or break above there. So I guess I could draw one more horizontal black line and say that I'm going to watch it break either below that line. I'll be putting it or if it breaks above... If it breaks above that black line, I'll call it for one minute. We're just kind of watching this to see. In this area right here, we're in a box and I'm not comfortable inside this box because I think it's going to either go one way or the other from here. It does have a tendency to go down. It's been it's been down for a while. I wanted to get below that green line right there. I wanted to get below that green candle. If it shoots there, I think we can take it. All right, I'm in on this. It did break below the black line. It's bouncing back and forth, but look at that pressure. I took a 30-second trade. It's going to touch the RSI in the 10-second, but that's not my biggest concern. I was watching, waiting for pressure to get below that black line and it did finally it jumped down there and paid off to be just a little patient we have five seconds left on this it was 30 second trade blo broke way below that line and it went ahead and went down now it is a breakdown it has been breaking and retracting let's see what this opening one minute candle looks like it looks really big. Is it going to retract off this? Or is it going to keep going to that line? There it's going to... It's at the bottom. I believe I'm going to put a two-minute trade on this because I think it's heading down to that next line. And I'm going to go ahead and enter now before it, before it does anything weird, like jumps way down. So that 21 was a win. So we got loss, win, loss, win, win. So we were, we're up a win. This is a two-minute longer trade because of where I think it's going. So now out of this, what I, what I think it's going to do is it's going to go from here and it's going to go down here like that. That is what I think it's going to do. It does look like it has, um, obviously this chart has been push up, push down, push up, push down, but I think it's going to, I think it's going to break down. And so I think that was just a pullback. It broke off there. I don't know though, you know, this could be, um, this could, this could be good or bad. It's got a minute and 14 left. Let's go into the 30 second. Let's go into 10 second. Take a look. Really big high. If it gets back up to this black line, I think I'll take another two minute. Or maybe I'll just take a double up if it, if it, if it touches that line right there. But it could, it could go ahead and tank. This is 10 seconds and it looks good. It's got 55 seconds. If this is just the pullback right here, then that's okay. We'll get it. If it can break below that, if it doesn't just like stink around there then um then we'll have it but it looks like it's trying to go back down and touch it's got 40 seconds let's look at the 30 second chart yeah it looks like it a consolidation block here not great but let's see if it can push below if it can push below this line right here it created like a little line right here if it can break below that line i think it'll win and i think it'll go all the way down but there it's got 25 seconds uh to do that it's not doing it very fast, but I do think it's going to head down and it's going to break. If it can just break this bottom, it's got 12 seconds. It's really close to the bottom. It's pushing down. It's pushing down to the bottom. Seven seconds left. There it goes. It's breaking down. It broke out of the consolidation box very nicely. And oh yes, it tied. It tied. That was just, that was just 
a tie. So that means it didn't win or lose. What a what a crazy trade that was. Um, I don't know. I'm going to leave this here because now it's just in another box. See, it boxed up, went down, boxed up again. And um, I'm in profit now, 1547. So I've got a little bit of profit. And that means I'm up one trade. Okay, so I'm at 1547 now. One trade, one trade, one trade. Is it going to break out of this box again? In the 10 second, it just looks scary because it looks like it's sort of on the bottom there. It could turn around and go all the way back up. It had a lot of consolidation. It shoved down. It could consolidate here a long time as well, too. I mean, that's that's really what I think it's going to do. I don't know that it's going to do anything else. All right, I'm back in on this. I feel like this is one of those charts that's actually heading down. And it is bouncing, and that's a pretty low thing, but it... This is the last level that it hit right here. And then it shot through there. It kind of bounced off, shot through. This is iffy. This is an iffy trade right now. But when I when I took it, I thought it looked really good. In the one minute, it looks like it's heading down. But yeah, it's going to set up consolidation in this area. And uh, I thought it was ready to go. It broke through there. And as it broke through, I went ahead and took my trade right there when it broke through. 20 seconds, it looks like it's going to... It could win. It's just in and out. It's just kind of up and down. 17 seconds. Let's go into 10 seconds. Look at that great push through. Phenomenal push through right there. Just hold down there for 10 more seconds. It broke down that. That's that really good unless it just gets totally tweaked and heads back up. I'm going to win that one. Look at that great win. Yeah, that is good. That is really good. And my dog was barking outside, so... I had to go out and, you know, tell him, like, be quiet. And, you know, he was just going crazy. 1567 is where I'm at. Now, th this is um, really a breakthrough. I think it's going to, I think it's going to go for one more. Well, it could turn around right here. In the 30 second, it looks like it's just totally broken through, but it's kind of retracted on there. So I don't know. I'm going to watch this and see if I think it's actually going to keep going. In the one minute, Looks like it could be a breakthrough. If it is, I'm going to take it. It looks, see, it looks like it wants to break through there. Yeah, it looks like it wants to break through there. So, what I'm going to do here, because it, it might pull back, I'm going to go and take it right here, because I feel like it is about to do an RSI break right here. Now, this is, this is gutsy, but I'm feeling the pressure down, and I'm noticing that it did get out of this area. This is a big area right here. So this was the area I was looking at, and now it's just kind of it's kind of bouncing there a little bit. But I think because it broke through on the 30, it broke through on the 1, that I think it's going to win. Now on the 10 second, that looks scary because it's got this little line of consolidation. But, it, you know, it could go either way. So it bounces up, bounces down. This is 10 seconds. Uh, it could go either way. I really hope it just goes back down. It looks like it's turning around, but in the 30 seconds... It could easily just be a quick pullback. And is it going to go back down in 15 seconds? Let's, let's zoom in on the 30 seconds. We have 10 seconds left. It's on the bottom there. It could go either way here. If it gets a good push down, there we go. There's the, the push we want. And that's going to be another win. Yes, um, that's going to be another win. So um, then we're going to be at 1586. What we're going for today, 1639. We started at 1532. So... I don't know. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to be done today because they're very uh tricky. A little bit tricky, but I'm learning a little bit more in this um in this new, you know, as I'm trading on day 13, I'm I'm just honing in on some little notes whereas I'm waiting a lot more patiently now than I have been waiting in the past. I have just been looking at charts and thinking, oh, it's going down and just putting it instead of waiting for it to touch certain levels. Like this black line showed me that if it goes below this, that it's probably going down. And I'll look into the five minute and I'll see, well, where is it going? It might be going, you know, I don't know where it could be going down to here. So I might draw lines on there like that and say it could be going down to there. This scares me because it's it's bouncing up and down inside that zone. 
So it wasn't like a clear mountain, but the charts today have been doing that. So I've been watching like little areas, if you noticed in this session, find waiting for those little moments. And if you really want to see the candle pressure, you can go into the 10 second candle. The 10 second candle will give you a really good read on pressure. You know, you can see the bigger lines, you know, that you've drawn, but then you can see the pressure of the candle. Is the, is the candle, you know, bouncing up and down or is it shooting or when it breaks that in that 10 second and it really shows you it's broken it, it's kind of obvious how it does. It kind of just starts going. Um, but you got to kind of look at those lines or I, what I have been doing is watching for those lines in, in, um, in like a bigger time frame, and then going into the 10 seconds. So this one right here is something that I looked at. Let's look at this just, just for kicks and giggles. I said, that's what I thought it was going to do. It was going to go either up to this level or it was gonna break down to this level. Now, I think I could win one more trade right here. I don't think I'm gonna do it because I think that this is that strong level that I thought it was gonna to go to. It's gonna to go to this level. This is, I mean, it's probably gonna bounce off this level right here. I don't know for sure what what I think. It's kind of broken through, you know, and, and, and I just don't know you know, it's kind of, it's pushed down, pushed down, pushed down. Is it going to keep pushing down or is it going to push up? Like, you know, maybe if I, maybe if I put like, yeah, see, it does. It, it kind of, it's consolidating again. This chart scares me because of the consolidation zones and how little these are. They're not sweeping up and down like they, like they do normally, like a big sweep in the, in this indicator, in the stochastic, the RSI is kind of just jagged. So do I think it's going up from here? Absolutely. I'm not going to risk it because I'm probably already up two and a half percent. And uh, if I take another trade at this point, I feel like I'm going to, you know, it, it loses and then I get, you know, angry, <laughs> not angry. I get, you know, disappointed. But yeah, look at that. It stopped real slow on here. And then I think it's going to go up from here for sure. You know, yeah, it probably is. I, I could take a, a two minute two minute trade from here but if you look at 10 minutes yeah it looks like it went down it bounced it's that level right there that's what it is it's at a dangerous spot now because it it could go back down it did break that level i mean honestly it broke that level for a little while that bottom level it broke now it's heading back up but it's been so jagged and so unsure and it's been going back and forth so much that I don't even know that I trust this very much right now um, because it could do what it's been doing. See, it's it's setting up little consolidation points and it's going down, then it's setting up consolidation points and it's going down, setting up consolidation points. I think overall, this probably is going to go up and because I guessed it right here, I, I, that red line or that pink line was going right down there and I thought that's what it would do. It would either go here or go there. Now... It would have been great if I would have called it maybe when it hit this line. But you see that if it would have hit this line and I called it here, I would have had to call it for two or three minutes because it went below. It really did. It didn't really obey that line. It didn't obey that line right off the bat. It it did obey it, but it took it a, some minutes to obey it. And now it's going to go back to it again. See, had I put a call up here thinking that it's a big turnaround, I would have lost. And it's because this chart already showed me it's moving consolidating, moving, consolidating, hitting a line, going under it just enough to probably lose and then going back up, then consolidating, then going back down. I don't know what it's going to do. I'm going to look at my chart today because I've already got uh, a good profit. I'm really excited about that because uh, if we, t we started at 1532 today and we ended our session right now at 1586. Let's look at what that means for us today and really for overall 1586. Up overall, we're up at 51%. We're up 51%. Uh, we started at 1532 today. We made $54, which is so great because I've only been making about 2%. I'm at 4%. So I'm glad I didn't take another trade before I looked at my thing. Um, I'm really only up, what, two and a half positions, you know, two and a half trades, 2.57 trades. That's how far I'm up. I've won two, like, so I lost a bunch and then I won some. So I'm really up 2.57 per, uh, positions, two and a half trades. Uh, in the profit. So at $54, not exactly what I'm going for, like the 7%, but I've noticed that if I continue on trading 
at the seven percent. See, this is consolidating still. It confirms that I'm not going to trade anymore today. Then I'm going to take my three point five two percent, which is phenomenal. That is a great win. Win. That is a great win. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to just be happy about it. And I'm going to keep working on the podcast. I want to thank you guys for watching. You know, you can get the books. You can get uh, the the Music City Trader Tribe. And I want to tell you before you leave that you can get the Music City Trader Tribe for free by just using my affiliate link, my pocket option affiliate link. You can just go to musiccitytrader.com and it will show you exactly how to do that because I want you guys to have success and really just be in the tribe of people who are working to get their profit and control their emotions. Hey, no matter where you are right now in your journey, you can become a profitable binary options trader. All it takes is a simple trading strategy to win trades and the ability to stick with your plan. But it's easier said than done, especially if you're trying to do this alone. But now you don't have to do this alone. Right now, you can go to musiccitytrader.com and join me in a tribe of dedicated traders. We're on a journey together and there's room for you today. You'll get all access to the exclusive trading tribe app where you can post your progress, share your wins and losses, learn what's working from other traders, and you'll get exclusive trading sheets, strategy guides, trading journal downloads, and more. You can even participate in my special live trading sessions and even copy my trades right inside Pocket Option using the social trade feature. Go to musiccitytrader.com and join the trader tribe today. Success is within reach and you're not alone. Click and join today at musiccitytrader.com.